good morning. On my way to St. Anthony's, I woke up underneath a freeway bridge. Um, and now I'm on my way to St. Anthony's to get possibly some food if they have a vegan option. Definitely some coffee and to take a shower. It's been like three days. And um, I'll flip the camera so y'all can see some of the city. So I can, uh, maybe I want to see more of that. But, um, all right. So, when we get into other areas, I might, like, put the camera away. But, um, St. Anthony's isn't too far away. It's a good resource for taking showers and things like that. And, um, I don't know what else they help with. Like, they help with food. They feed, like, twice a day. A breakfast and a lunch. And you can, you gotta go in line, but you can go into the line as many times as you like to collect however much food you like to you know, eat or save for later. San Francisco. One thing I was thinking about, I've been here almost a month and I've had this cart since I was in LA. And usually in LA, I would need a new cart like every three weeks. So, I never gotten this cart before, but it's pretty similar to the other cars that I was getting. Getting and um I was I don't know, maybe this is a really good cart or the streets here aren't that bad. The streets here definitely are smoother. But um I tell you like I have nightmares about my cart breaking down and I have to like you know, run back downtown in L.A. to get another one. But the nightmares will be more like a fantasy world. But, you know, the bad part of the, the dream would be like, or the nightmare would be my uh, wheels breaking off my car and not have to drag the car around because I don't want to lose all my stuff. But luckily this car is holding up and it's holding up really well. It isn't even it doesn't even seem like it's anywhere close to like breaking down. I don't like to speak on it because it might bring it into existence, but so far it's been really well. I don't know all the areas of San Francisco, like I don't know. Maybe this is a nice area that some people might want to see. I don't know. But I think that's enough. The video the part earlier was me packing up my stuff from underneath the bridge. Um I was hanging out with my friend yesterday, but today I'm just chill by myself. So I came back down to the tenderloin and um I usually sleep someplace else but it was a lot of people there last night, so I went over there because there I'm pretty much by myself, and um, it's pretty peaceful. Like I said, the cars kind of lull you off to sleep, but all right, make more later, make more video later. Have a good one. At the laundromat washing clothes. Um, just left St. Anthony, took a shower. Um, three days since my last shower. And, um, you yeah, know, washing some clothes, had some smelly socks in my bag, and it, it ruined everything, so. I'm excited about having some fresh clothes. I, I enjoy doing laundry, enjoy like keeping my clothes clean and like keeping the smell away. 
it's kind of like a mission almost and it's like uh, well, I don't know it's like um I don't know it gives me something to do keep me give me a routine and so keeping myself clean keeping my clothes clean is um I don't know it keeps me together I guess keeps me like busy like okay I know I need to do that you know and um also washing some pants that I made um it's Italian silk and these pants that I'm wearing is Italian silk and when I washed it with the, the soap it bleached them and so the pants in there is like a green Italian silk and I don't know I put it inside a sleeping bag well I put it inside a, um a pillowcase and then I put the soap powder in so I don't know but I, it also smelled, but I'm going to send them off to somebody who wanted them. Um, because I didn't like how they fit on me. I liked how they came out, but I just, it's not like something I would wear, but I like them. Um, um, and then maybe later get some lunch back at St. Anthony's. And yeah, watch the clothes spin around. One more thing, so I've traveled, and I would say by far San Francisco is the most expensive place to wash your clothes. It's like, it was $3 to do, like wash. And then it's like a whole bunch of quarters to get at least 30 minutes, like at least about like seven quarters to get 30 minutes. I guess each quarter is like five minutes, so it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So like six quarters for 30 minutes. It makes sense because the price of living is more here, but um, it really is a lot. But um, that's just something else to add. All right. So today is coming to an end. I did some sewing inside the mall, still working on the 20 dolls. Um, now I'm just sitting outside chilling, waiting for some more darkness so I can go to my spot and go to bed for the night. Um, uh, any good thoughts? No, not really. Just chilling. Sitting out here. Let's see if I'm thinking about anything. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Oh, I'm just enjoying making the dolls. Let me show you how much work I... That's how much work I got done. So he's almost complete. And then I just got to add hair, third eye, maybe a hat. Looking at the people. Always love people watching. Um... I was listening to something about Kirken, Kierkegaard, the philosopher, and it was about not, I guess, wanting too much in life or counting on too much outside yourself to make you happy in life, and that, uh, like, we should all seek for, like, um, I guess, enjoyment, so do the things that make us um, happy and, and stuff, but not try to... Uh, strive for stuff that is like out of our attainment because I guess we may never get it or even if we get it it might not be what we were expecting you know or you know you never know it might not make you happy so try to make do with what you got to make you happy in the world I agree I, I like just sitting back and making stuff
and I'm content and happy and obsessed with like working and then when I do do things that are like let me take a break to do something else I'd be like uh, I'd just rather just do my craft like yesterday I went out to eat with a friend and it was nice but I was like I, I could be working you know I like going to the finding simple cheap food and just work Cause I'm like it's not work for me. It's like play, and I just like seeing what I make and the creative process, being in the creative uh, process and flow, and just having ideas, working on it, and then watch it morph into other things as I'm working. So almost done with the whole day. Um, after this, after it gets a little bit more darker, I'm going to go get some cardboard. And then I'm going to go back to the bridge where I woke up this morning. And I think I'm going to chill by myself another day tomorrow. Working on stuff. Um, learn some more stuff today about... There's a place down the street on Market where homeless people can go and do crafts. But tomorrow is Saturday, so it probably won't be open tomorrow, but... I'm going to definitely try to go there um, next week, someday. Um, they might be able to help me sell work. But if anything, it would be a place to hang out and just craft. And they might be able to give me supplies and stuff. So, Alright, I'm going to let this end and I'll talk to y'all later. Hey, underneath my troll bridge. Thank you for spending the day with me. See you tomorrow. If I live. <laughs> Alright, good night.